So today I'm with Michelle. Michelle, your puppy's name is what again? This is Juju. Juju. And Juju is how old? Um, I'm assuming like five months because I did just find him. I got lucky. Um, I found him and he couldn't, he was just a baby because he wasn't, he didn't make a sound. He wasn't barking or crying or anything. He was barely like running around a little bit. And I can tell he was, when he was still teething. So he's young. He's like probably five months old. That was four months ago when I found him. Cute. Uh, your puppy is cute. Okay. Really, really cute. Love dogs. Uh, Michelle, uh, how old are you? 30. I just turned 30 um, a month ago. So happy belated birthday. Are Thank you, you. are you Sagittarius? Scorpio. Scorpio. Got it. Um, We're in January, two months ago. <laughs> two months ago. Okay. Does that happen sometimes where you lose track of time? time yeah i've asked people like what year is it and they're like from two years it kind of stuck two years ago whatnot you know so uh, you just lose track of time out here right it's I had normal. To, yeah this morning i had to ask somebody because i was looking at um like planners like notebooks and stuff at the store right here and i was the year was like for the agenda was 21 um to 22 and i was thinking like it's not 21 anymore and then i was like it's 23 like because it just i mean it was just the new year but yeah i did have to ask somebody yeah time you don't really write the date down in this lifestyle. And speaking of lifestyle, how long have you been out here in the streets? Um, two years, more or less. I, I can go home, like I have a home, um, I have a room, but you just, when you're, it's weird because whenever you go back, you feel it's less at home. You're not comfortable. It almost feels like, um, I don't know how to explain it. You're not in your comfort zone once you're out here for a while with all your friends and things like that. So you start going home less and less, at least for me. Family starts seeing you as a stranger, like they don't know you anymore? Yeah. And uh, who's home? Is that parents, siblings? Uh, no, my mom, my mom and dad. I still have, um, my, I'm the youngest, so my siblings are all on, on their own. Do you have children? A daughter. How old is your baby? She turned five in September. You miss your baby? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm lucky there's, I see her, well, I used to see her every other week until she started school, so they enrolled her. I actually found out on Meet the Teacher Night. I was pretty mad because his, her dad's girlfriend took her to Meet the Teacher Night, and I was like, "How can she even do that? She's not a parent." Like, um, but they already have his girlfriend has other kids, so it's easier for them. Whereas on over here with me and my parents, like we're how many other kids going to school? So they kind of just took the reins and enrolled her in school, and now I just get her weekends. Um, but I have to be with one of my parents. That was mine and her dad's agreement um, without having to like involve um, police or like, you know, uh, CPS. Like, I'm lucky we don't have any court arrangements. Me and him kind of just, because he's not, he's not perfect either. <laughs> so yeah, it was like, and I didn't want to call CPS on him and just be like, you know, us mess around and both lose her. So came to our own terms. Every, every weekend now. What keeps you away from family and uh, your daughter? Is it addiction to blues? Um, yeah, it's, yeah. When did that start? Um, my, the addiction? Yeah, using blues. Um, well, before these ones, like the pharmaceutical ones that were here, um, not, not from Mexico, probably 13 years ago um high school that was like my last year in high school what high school did you go to um apollo high school i graduated from apollo um which is right here and but i went to probably three different high schools and uh but i did graduate yeah. you did graduate <laughs> i went to medical school yeah it's actually when um, when I had 
my daughter, well, when I got pregnant, I I was able to quit. I don't know why, but there was more of, um, I guess, like a willpower. Um, I had more need or want to not do them. You had more of a reason to stop, right? Because mm -hmm. your daughter's birth. Right? It wasn't just my life anymore. So, yeah. So, I quit. Or I, I talked to my doctor and, like, tapered off. And I was sober through my pregnancy. But then, once I had her, you know, you go through those baby blues. And I went back to my, like, usual coping method. But... Around that time... Um, Prior to that, I was doing the ones that I was talking about, the pharmaceutical ones that were super expensive, by the way, like five of those, at, whereas like maybe $100, $120, whereas one of these new ones from Mexico, these blues that are out now, um, it's like you only need one to have the same tolerance, you know, or equals the same. Um, so when I switched over, it's like it was a wrap, like those were just... Once I had my daughter, those ones were all I could find. So once I tried those, it was, that was it. Um, that was five years ago. And it didn't take long. Um, maybe five months or so. Um, her dad and I split up, and I went back to my mom's. And then uh, maybe a year after that, they like tried to. When he tried to take her. He actually tried to take her at one point. Which is ironic because they think you're doing bad, so you know they they you know try to help, I guess, by let's we're gonna take your daughter away, so get your things together. Um, but then, I mean, for me, it's like when I'm under stress or pain, like I just resort to that. So I went deeper in. It's like you mentioned uh, coping skills. Mm -hmm some some people's ability to cope with trauma or stress or experiences is a lot different than other people right uh, mm -hmm. so uh, I think that's I think that's um, I don't want to say normal but it, it happens right where people just don't know how to deal with with traumatic experiences or stress right um, negative coping methods right because some people drink um there's different pills that people take, uh, fighting, a ton of things, but yeah. If you weren't out here, what would you be doing right now? Probably with my daughter. Do you think that'll happen someday? Mm-hmm. Someday. It's like, my boyfriend's been, um, in prison, in and out of prison for the last couple of years, so um, he just got sentenced like a month ago, and I probably won't see him for two more years, so it's a lot um, lonelier, and it's been like a little bit more pressing to go back home. More stress, more trauma, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but there's a real, like, there's a thin line, like, um, I mean, not really that thin, but with, from where it's having fun again, being free or like a like how you, I don't know. Some people say like a free spirit. It's like it's that, and it's really, really close to just. It's, I mean, it, it switched actually really fast to um, more like avoiding being sick. It's not to be have fun. It's just to not be sick. I've heard that a lot from different people. When I sh when I first tried it, they say it was you know I, I liked it, I yeah. enjoyed it, it was fun. But now, two years in, five years in, a year and six months in, if I I have to use it, I have to use the pills because it's not it's it's now it's about not getting sick, the withdrawals, the pain that I feel, right? The my bones ache, right? Um, yeah. I'm throwing up and all this stuff is happening to my body. Is that kind of what happens to you? Yeah, I don't get invited to family parties anymore because um, usually my whatever supply I take with me doesn't last and I'm freaking out, <laughs> kicking and screaming and crying and everyone has to pack up and go home early. One year um, on the drive home, there was like my sisters were in one car 
Um, some cousins were in another car, and my parents and I were in a third car, and they kept pulling over like on our drive back from our trip up north for Christmas. Um, on our drive home, they would pull over and kick me out of one car to another car. They were like, like hot potato with me because they didn't want to deal with me. That made you feel less than? Hurt your feelings? So, um... That was the last time I went to a family party, or a vacation, I should say. They'll take my daughter, though. You'll, you'll be... You'll be reunited with your family soon, okay? Yeah. Just continue your fight. Continue to, to to do what you need to do. You know you know what you need to do. You've been doing this for a while, right? You're not you're not new to the game. Sure. Um, you just simply have to muster the courage and strength to actually get it done. Uh, learn some coping skills. Um, when I approached you, I let you know the purpose of my channel was prevention through awareness and uh, you know why I'm doing this for to help save youngsters right there's a lot of young Michelle's out there 12 13 14 that don't know about coping skills you know that somebody offers them and they're trying to be cool they're trying to be older and you know be accepted by the crowd and that could be the last pill they take right so yeah. um, so you should be proud of yourself uh, your family should be proud of you for sharing your story having the courage to share your story to help save somebody else's life that's very admirable okay but at the same time let's try to save yours because you matter too you're important in this world okay people pray for you okay your daughter misses you needs you in her life you obviously love her and miss her you're just stuck in a trap right you're stuck in a cycle yeah um but you're smart enough you're strong enough to get out of here okay so uh, Michelle, I'm going to say thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you. I'm going to hand you my card with my number on it. So okay. you can you can call me if you ever need a ride to treatment uh, or if you ever need to talk to somebody, okay? Um, if, Juju, if you ever need uh, food for Juju, please call me. I'll come bring you some food <laughs> as well, okay? Thank you. Um, here's, a, here's a box of Narcan. I gave you one earlier. I'm going to give you another one. Yeah, thank um, you. But uh, you already know what that's for, how to use it, right? Yeah, somebody asked for it this morning. There you go. In the house. There you go. And uh, I'm also going to hand you a donated blessing bag from one of my subscribers, a friend of mine. Her name is Shorty. Um, so what do you want to do? You want to yeah. give me that stuff? Do you want me to hold a puppy or you got you got it? Um, he's good. He'll sit right here. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, let me know if those are items that you can use. Of course, food on the top. Oh, yeah, the blankets. Little, little snacks. Absolutely, the blankets. Because this one, Juju always needs a blanket. It's been really cold at night. Like, unbearable. Yeah, this is from your subscriber? Yeah, okay. subscriber, a friend of mine. Her name is Shorty. Yeah, I could use these. Thank you. So Thank there. you, yeah, all this. Snacks, toiletries, awesome. uh, all that stuff you can use, right? And there's also a little letter in there. If you could open that up, crack that open, and uh, yeah, it says, You are in my thoughts and prayers. Five dollar gift, gift card, card to QT. Yep. Um, it says first, I want to say thank you for accepting this blessing bag. My family and Jesse helped me make for you. I only ask that you do me a favor and say a prayer for me as I battle my struggles with depression, anxiety, and awful thoughts as well. Um, when you can, please pay it forward. 
and bless someone by simply being a friend and helping someone in need. I hope these items help out a little. Be safe and please call Art to go to treatment. We really do care and are praying for you. Love, Shorty. I like her little logo. Like her logo? Her blessings from Shorty, bro. Awesome. So uh, there you go, Michelle. Thank you very much. Of course. Uh, people are gonna pray for you. Uh, they're gonna cheer you on. Again, you matter. You're important in this world. Don't ever forget about that, okay? And uh, we'll talk soon, okay? Thank you.